Denise and I have been invited uh, down to Southport, down the south coast, uh, by some friends of ours who have a couple of chalets there. And uh, on the Sunday, they invited us to have lunch at the, the local pub, which we did, and uh, beautiful garden, and quite a nice out, outlook onto the sea, and a really lovely place, you know. And of course, uh, people all over, alcohol all over, that, that doesn't faze me at all. Uh, Jesus often went to where the sinners were, and those that needed help, and as far as I was concerned, there were many there that needed help. No. So that was my attitude. And uh, while we were sitting at the table, a bunch of bikers came in. And I remember saying to my friend Paul, yeah, this is where the trouble starts. Look what's arrived. And he looked and he said, whoa, 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 whoa. He said, when these oaths break loose, he said, you must know, there is trouble in the land. Now we were sitting there and we were quietly having a, a, a lunch. And I looked up and I, saw this particular couple and the Lord just emphasized, he said to me, do you see the lady with the yellow jersey? I said, yes, I see her. He said, go and heal her. I said, what? What? Don't you know those are bikers? I mean, these bikers are like two meters by two meters by two meters and you're asking me, I must go? And I'm, I must, I said, there's no way, Lord. There's, there's no way I can do this. The power of God fell on me in, in, to, to such a degree that my, my friend next to me could, couldn't handle it. I was sitting in the middle and uh, I said, okay, Lord, I'll, I'll go. But while I was walking across to where they were, I, I, I said to the Lord, I said, please, I, 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 I need wisdom here. I'm not fearful, but I know I need wisdom. Don't hear a word. Don't hear a word. Not one word. Not until I got to the biker. And I didn't address his wife, I addressed him. And I said to him, good afternoon, sir. And I could see that had thrown him. You don't call biker, sir. You just don't do that. And he looked up to me and I could see he was astonished. And he said to me, can I help you? I said, no, you've gone. I've actually come to help you. He said, you've come to help me? I said, yeah, I've come to help you. I said, this lady that's sitting over here, that's your wife? He said, yes. I said, she's got leukemia and she's on, she's on her way out. She's dying. Am I right? And the tears started whirling up in his eyes. And he said to me, he said, yes, that's right. I said, well, today Jesus has sent me to heal her. So first of all, I want to tell you about Jesus, which I did. And then I said, I'll pray for your wife and she'll be okay. So I prayed for her. And then I shared the Lord Jesus Christ, obviously, with her. And then they said to me, said, you know, we live about 400 meters, 500 meters from a charismatic church, and we just don't go there. But we give you our word of honor that as from now on, we will do that. We will join the church and we will walk with the Lord. So I said, no, that's fine. And I went back and I sat down at the table. And I, oh, I, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 minutes, my wife said to me, look, look on the floor there, look who's dancing. And this biker and his wife with the yellow jersey were actually dancing. So we give praise and honor and glory to the Lord.